Hi there, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. This is Everything Outdoors with Les Johnson. You want to learn how to catch a snapping turtle? I'm here to show you exactly how to do it without all the BS. First thing you're going to need is some line. I I actually bought some mason line, but this is not going to work because it's it's coming unfrayed. It just it starts unwinding itself. Uh, typically, when I was a kid, I used what was a uh, uh, line that you could buy in a spool about that long, about that big around. is about a 140-pound test, yellow line, and it was used for set lines. Um, that mason line's not going to work, so also what I bought is big cat line, and it's 72-pound test, and there's 150 yards here. So all we're going to need is about maybe 20 yards of line but the thing is when you when you catch a snapping turtle they eat your bait so when you're pulling them in they're they're clawing and pushing away from you so they have really long fingernails and they can actually cut the line um, so you want something that's fairly sturdy this is like a braid it's almost like lead core if you will uh, line and what I'm using too for a hook is a, a four-aught Mr. Catfish. Uh, really nice hook, it's not a circle hook. They're just gonna swallow it and it's gonna get caught in their, their stomach and you're gonna be pulling them in. But the secret bait, so many people, they use uh, chicken liver or whatever and what happens is when you throw that out on the pond, it sinks to the bottom. So you're relying on that snapping turtle smelling it and having to swim over and find it and then eat it. When you think about this, my grandfather is what told me how, is the person that told me how to catch snapping turtles. And I've caught so many of them as a kid. I would set four uh, lines for snapping turtles. I would catch four snapping turtles that day. So here's what you use. The secret bait is just a sparrow. I use birds. And the reason for using a bird, when you throw it out there, it's going to be floating on top of the water. The, the snapping turtle's underneath, his eyes are on top of his head, on the sides, and more towards the top. So basically what happens is, when he's sitting on the bottom and that, that bird hits the water, he instantly sees it. So he sits there and he stares at it, stares at it, stares at it. Pretty soon he can't take it. So he's coming up for air and he just goes up, whoop, eats it, goes right back down to the bottom. You got yourself a snapping turtle because he'll inhale it. Now what we're going to do is just tie this hook on. One of the things about these hooks that you're going to use, you want one with a big eyelet. So you can see the big eyelet here. I want that big eyelet because you're using heavy line for snapping turtles. You may be pulling in a 20 pound snapping turtle. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie it uh, just like I would a normal hook. So I'm gonna wrap it about four or five times and then I'm gonna run it right through the, the loop there. Then I'm gonna run it back through Yeah, there's nothing gonna pull that off. Ooh. Okay, then I'm gonna cut off the excess. Okay. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is just hook a sparrow on there. Basically, um, you want him to float on surface and you're either going to have to hunt your sparrows or you're going to have to uh, pull them out of your uh, front of your vehicle sometime and just throw them in a freezer. They'll last forever. So if you've got a bird, I'm just going to try to bury that hook in him and hook across the backbone so he's just like that. And another thing you're going to need is a fence post. And I, that or any other kind of post, you're going to put it on the edge of the water and you're going to wrap it around, tie it off, throw, a, throw your bird out there. One of the secrets to doing this, okay, is know your predominant wind direction. If you're, if you're, if you're putting a, a line out for a snapping turtle, if the wind's predominantly coming out of the south, you want to go to the, the side that the wind's blowing from, throw it out so that wind takes that bird out as far. You don't, you want it to stay out in the middle. You don't want the wind to blow it to shore. So basically, 
go to the same side the wind's coming from, set your line, throw your, your, your bait out there so it stays out there in the middle of the, the pond floating on top. They will see it, they will eat it, and when you check your line, you're gonna have a snapping turtle. I'm gonna get this thing out and we're gonna see if we can't catch one here. Okay, I, I tied off to a, a fence post right here. I put it in the ground and I put the line clear down at the bottom so that way it can't bend this over and pull it up and over. Um, I've got my bird here. I've got all my line. Try to line it all out and all I'm gonna do Remember, you're not you're not using any weight. You want it to float on top of the surface. So, I'm just going to throw him out there. Now he's he's out there about 20 30 feet. I've got some spare line here. And he's just floating out there. Uh, I'll zoom up on him here in a little bit but it's just gonna float there. That snapping turtle down in the, the bottom, I don't even know if there's one here in this lake or this pond, it's a tiny pond, but I'll guarantee you there, there is. And as soon as that thing hit the surface, snapping turtle, he noticed it. So he's down there looking at it. We're gonna see if we can catch one right here. We'll check the trap probably, or the, the line later today. We're gonna go set a few more, see if we can't get a little snapping turtle line going. Let's go. Doesn't even have to be out there a long ways. I'm only 15 feet out there, but the thing is they'll they'll sense it, they'll see it, and they'll go right to it and eat it. So we're gonna leave this one alone. So we got four out. Okay. The first line I had set from yesterday, I checked this morning. It was my first one and it was all tangled up and my bait was gone and it was wrapped around all kinds of weeds. So I had something, I don't know what it was. Now I'm checking the last line that I set yesterday and when I pulled across this dam, I could see the line was tight over here into the weeds, so I'm assuming I've got something just the way it went up in the, the weeds. So, gloves are on and yeah, it's pretty tight. We're just gonna walk down the bank. I imagine I've got something here. Got a big old snapper here. You can see him right here in the water in front of me. <laughs> okay. And this is where it gets a little tricky. See, you got it in all the weeds here. He doesn't want to come in at all, so I got to grab his tail. And he's already snapping, so I don't know what's going to happen here. <laughs> that crazy thing. Here's one. So, uh, <laughs> you can get closer, I'm not going to get you, but this is what they look like, right? So, uh, we've got one out of, I set four lines yesterday, I had something on the first one, this is the second line checked, so we'll get him thrown the vehicle. <laughs> And we'll go check the other ones. I've got to cut this line off of him, too. So he's not real big. He's just a, a decent one. So. <laughs> You're jumping an awful lot. <laughs> okay, I'm here checking one of my lines again. And I don't have any help. And I think I have a little snapper, the way it looks. Just a little guy. 
but little guys turn into big guys. Okay, here's what he looks like. He smells nice too, but he ate that sparrow, so they're just, they're kind of mean, you know what I mean? So I'll get him off of here, you quit it and uh, get a, another hook put on and rebait it and we'll see if we can't catch mama. Okay, we've got a couple turtles. We're gonna get these uh, turtles out of the pickup. I've had them in the back of my pickup for a little while and they were not liking it. But we're gonna at least clean one of them. You can see there's one of them. Not very happy. He's gonna have better days here before long. 